Welcome back. Spurs force a game seven with a huge 120-103 win tonight. A lot of key contributors. We've heard from several players tonight, but we are just getting started for our coach. Derek White right now at the at and Center. Yeah, I mean, I mean he's a he's low down there. He, um, Jakob was battling, the other was battling the whole game, so uh, we could do a better job on the other people and uh, making it difficult on them. Uh, it would help us out. On your game tonight, you seem to get your, your, your sea legs under you again. You seem steadier. And you feel, I mean, obviously playing for the home crowd. And we yeah. Just left it out there. Yeah, I mean, I just felt uh, felt good. I mean, just learn from those last two games, uh, figure out what works, what doesn't work, and uh, try to improve off of it. What was the atmosphere like out there knowing that you had to win? Uh, I mean, the crowd was amazing. And then everybody in this locker room, I mean, it started with L.A. and DeMar, uh, just came out focused and, and ready to go. Can you all muster up this effort again for two days? To we need to. We need to, yeah. Exactly, so as win or go home, we got to. Do you feel like you were more physical tonight and getting up into them a little bit more than you had been in the last couple of games? Yeah, I mean, uh, some of them fouls were not smart, but uh, <coughs> we just try to make them work, try to make it difficult, as difficult on them as possible. So for this, um, for this game, you guys came in with the mentality, do or go home, or rather stay home. So you kind of already know what it feels like to be on the edge of almost being out, whereas they don't. But now they're going home with the same feeling. How do you, how do you think that's going to affect them and perhaps help you guys since you already know what, what it's like? I mean, it's going to be a battle. Um, both teams are going to be um, hungry and know that the season's on the line. Game sevens are all leaves like that, so um, it's going to be a battle. Eric, can you talk about the, kind of the fourth quarter? You know, you guys started, you were up by five, and after three, then you all went on a 17-2 17, 17 run. That's just kind of the kind of you know, yeah. the ball game. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I mean, we got some stops, and then got on transition. Belly hit some big uh, threes, and... Uh, Rudy hit a big three, so just um, getting stops and then offensively moved the ball, get, to, get, a good, get a good shot. How good did it feel to see Rudy get back you know, in the rhythm, get his points and stuff after? Yeah, he was huge for us. Um, he just stepped up and uh, made big plays throughout the whole game. Derek, how, e how much easier is it for you younger guys to settle in when the OGs take, take control early in the game with Marcus and DeMar? Yeah, I mean, from the start, you could just tell that they were ready to go, and, um, and they just brought us along. So um, they've been huge all year, and they, were, they stepped up tonight. When you see DeMar operating like that with the spins and the drives, do you ever think I'm lucky I don't have to guard him? <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's he a tough cover, that's for sure. Um, yeah, I'm thankful, yeah. Have you played with him long enough this season, though, that once he got, gets going with his rhythm like he did in the third quarter, that he's going to be tough to see? Sense that that he was on a roll. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you can just feel it and uh, just see that he got it going. Just try to get him the ball and um, try to make let him make the plays for us. How was Pop with you guys uh, leading up to this game? Was he loose? Did he try to keep you guys loose? Joke around? Or? Yeah, I mean, he's been the same um, throughout the whole playoffs and just uh, told us to go out there, have some fun. Um, and that's what we did. What have you seen from Patty in this series? He hasn't been getting his shots from outside like normal, but he's getting those drives. What have you seen from him? Yeah, I mean, them big man finishes, that's what we always talk about. So uh, he's been huge for us. I mean, even when he doesn't make shots, he does so many little things. And um, off the court, he's amazing. And it uh, just gets everybody going. So uh, he's been huge for us. What was the thought of the half? You were up by four, you know? And yeah, yeah, they were killing us on the O boards. I mean, um, they said they had 20 second chance points at halftime. So uh, just focus on that and um, just continue our defensive intensity and finish off with a rebound. Have a calm to them, you know. Um, and it, wear all, it wears off on, on us, understanding. On our home floor, we understood what, what we had to come in here and do tonight. Um, wasn't much needed to be said. I think it was that stretch in the third quarter where it was like y'all going against Jokic. It was back and forth, and then y'all took that into the fourth quarter. Was that like y'all knew y'all had to keep it up at that point? Yeah, you know, um, they've been great at, you know, throwing a punch at us and, you know, running away with it.
you know, um, we try to sustain that, understand um, whatever they do, we have to match it, be more aggressive, understand we had to keep our rhythm going, being aggressive on both ends, and we did that. Demar, how, how do you balance between slowing down the game with, with set plays and just running downhill? It, it seems that when y'all are going just full force, that, that there's a flow to the game. How, how do y'all balance that? Um, it's all about stops. As long as we get stops, um, we understand um, we could get out, be aggressive, pick, and pick, pick our um, spots, understand where the shooter's going to be, kind of be aggressive, get into the rim. You know, we have a lot of options when we're able to get stops. It's hard to have them options when we're taking the ball out the basket, you know, then um, coming back down to a set defense. Is there anything that you've seen in your team in night, first half, first quarter, that you knew that y'all was here to play? Um, I mean, when we – Got up for shoot around this morning. You know, everybody in the, in the gym this morning, you know, just to sense, to feel, understanding that, you know, nobody wanted this thing to end. We understood we, what we had to come out here to do. Um, now it's time for us to go back on the road and close this thing up. Uh, Demar, you said after game four that you knew Rudy was going to step up in some way during the series. What do you have to say about his uh, performance tonight? I um, told you so. You know, um, we all – we all had that confidence, not just with Rudy, with everybody. Belly came up big for us tonight. Uh, Patty came out there, was aggressive. Um, all the guys came up big, you know, and now it's, now it's on this game seven. Everybody pull that thing together and um, do it one more time. Demar, you had a fair share of uh, game sevens. What is your message to the young guys on the team regarding how to approach game seven? Like we approached it tonight, you know, um, Eager, um, desperate, but under control, understanding what, what needs to be done, um, playing with smarts, you know, um, and it's fun. You know, you got to go out there and have fun. Well, Demar, just to follow up on that, you guys are pretty proud of your playoff experience. How important that experience is to help you guys to leverage the win on Saturday? Um, with experience, having experience, um, you know, you can lean on experience, but, you know, we got we to gotta come ready mentally um, more than anything. Um, it's going to be tough. We can't get caught up in the crowd. We got to understand it's us versus them, um, and everything is against us. Um, go out there, play free, play smart, and just be ready. Tomorrow, I think you've played in two game sevens. I think and two. No, I'm sure I played more than that. In game sevens? Yeah. Uh, well, maybe your second one. You had thirty mm -hmm. uh, in, a, in, a, in a closeout. Um, how? Difficult is this, especially when you've d when you're doing it for the first time. Like if you remember the first your first game seven, what's that like as a young player? Um, you're back against the wall. You know, it's it's literally win or go home. You know, um, win or go home. Simple as that. You know, once you understand the meaning of that going into that game, you understand that every single second on that court matters. You know, you don't want to walk off that court preparing for summer. You know. Um, that's that's it brings out a different side of you, you know, and the guys that been in the game seven understand what it's like. So we all gotta treat it like like we did the night. <laughs> <laughs> um man, it's been a tough series for me. Um it felt good to, you know, see a couple go in and hopefully this will, you know, you know, jump start next game. But uh, you know, I'm just continue to be aggressive and, and try to help the team, you know. In all aspects. Rudy, are you okay physically? Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I know this it's happens. tough. Yeah, it happens. It happens. I don't, I don't think it's ever happened this bad to me, but, you know, it happens. It's just made me tougher. Um, you know, make me a better basketball player, and we continue to play, and, uh, you know, I can learn from what I've done and, and, and try to help this team even more. Those corner threes, are, are those your favorite to line up, or is there a different one? If, if there is a three to shoot, I think that would be the one for me. <laughs> I'm not turning those down. Just, just talk about this win and, and what it meant with the situation you guys were in and the way you guys were able to come out and take this game. Well, it just shows how resilient we are. We let a couple go. Um, you know, I don't think anybody in this locker room thought we were down or ready to go home. Um, you know, even still, we're still packing for a week. We're trying to go to Portland after this. So, you know, we're, we're confident and we're ready to go. Rudy, where's the belief come from when those jumpers aren't falling to keep going, to keep shooting? I've been a scorer my whole career, man. I'm going to continue to shoot. It's been a gift and a curse for me. <laughs> What's that feeling like, knowing that you have to pack for Portland, but not having any idea if you're actually going to go there? Um, we're not going to pack for no reason, so 
you know. I'm going to pack my clothes. I'm going to use them. <laughs> how did it feel like, you know, see the, the first shots go down? That felt good. It felt good. It, it, felt, good. it, felt, good. it felt good. And then, and, um, you know, for the series, I, I, a lot of my shots felt good. They didn't go down. But, you know, just just be, you know, be confident and be, be faithful in your game and your preparation. And um, continue to do what you do. And, you know, the baskets will fall. As a competitor, what do you think that game seven, the real game seven atmosphere is going to be? Um... We're ready for it. We're ready for whatever. You know, um, they're hungry. You know, they want to get to the second round. We want to get to the second round. Um, we just want it a little bit more. I hope so. You know, we want to bring it. Can you all muster, muster up another great effort like you did tonight? Yeah, yeah. I mean, like I said, I mean, the games we lost, we felt like we gave away. So, you know, we just had to, you know, come ready to go mentally. You played, you played, with, you played with DeMar before. <laughs> and I know you guys are tight. When he gets going like he did in the third quarter, when right. he got his rhythm, you know that he's gonna—he's—he's—he's he's, he's on his game. Right? Yeah, I mean he's—he gets going like that. He's, you know, one of the best in the league at his position. Um, you know, he's a competitor. Um, I still think he tries to fill things out. You know, as far as the team, but uh, you know, he has quarters like the third quarter because you know he's—he's he's a talented guy. He can go out there and get a bucket.